Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another empties video. I didn't realize how long it's been since I've done an empties video, because I have quite a lot of products, definitely more hair care and skin care, but I do still have some makeup products in here, so I feel like we're going to get a, a nice mix of hair care, skin care, and makeup in today's video. So since I have so much to talk about, let's just go ahead and dive right in. I'm working from home today, and my hair is still drying, so that's why it's, uh... So looking a bit nuts. I'm going to diffuse it after this video. But the first product I want to talk about are, of course, the Ever Present Makeup Wipes. If you've been here for any amount of time, you know that I love the Neutrogena Wipes. So I have two empties of their usual uh, regular makeup removing cloths in the blue packaging. And then I also have an empty of my personal favorite, the purple packaging, which is the night calming. They have like a, a slight lavender scent and they're just, they're just so good in my skin. The only reason that I still buy the like regular blue ones instead of the purple ones is because I can buy the blue ones in bulk in a package at Costco and though that's like the cheapest option. It's the best value you're going to get for your buck for an amazing makeup wipe. If they made the purple ones in a pack from Costco, I I would buy 30 of them and be set for like life. I love these makeup wipes. <laughs> I just, I treat myself to them every now and then whenever I can find a sale at CVS, but I love these ones, but not to dog on the blue ones. The blue ones are still really good. Well, I lied. I found another empty of the blue Neutrogena package. So we've got three of these as empties this time. So we're going to move on into the rest of my skincare empties because I also found I have a lotion empty, a fragrance empty, a nail care empty. We've got empties of every kind in this video. So the next empty for skincare I have is this mini version of the Thayer's uh, Facial Toner Rose Petal Scented Version. Everyone and their mother used to talk this like toner up. I don't know, last year, the year before, and I was like, oh, it must be amazing, it must be great. So I tried a super mini version of it out, wasn't impressed, and I was like, okay, you know what, try try a bigger mini of it out and see what you think. Still not impressed. I like my regular witch hazel toner uh, that I buy from CVS better than this one. So I bought this small one so I could bring it on the trip that I took a couple of weeks ago, and it worked great for that trip. But for like my regular at-home skincare routine, I have a toner that works better. Next, I have an empty from Peter Thomas Roth. This is actually the Max Complexion Correction Pads with a fresh peach bellini scent. That is some BS. These did not smell like peach bellini. They smelled like alcohol. It's taken me a while to actually use these up because I didn't use them every time I washed my face. I felt that they were very harsh, so I really only use them once or twice a week max. <sighs> I feel embarrassed saying this, but I felt pressured to buy this when I was in Sephora. This was back before my last really bad Sephora experience, and I had a bonus from work, and I was wanting to splurge on some skincare because back then my skin wasn't looking that great and I was I was really looking into how I could invest in it. I was talking to an employee at the Sephora and I said so I'm currently using like a vitamin C and I'm currently using this and that and I'm looking just for a nice exfoliant and I just remember she just talked so condescending to me like I didn't know anything and said, well, girl, that's not going to do anything for you. You need to do this, this, this. And everything she recommended was super expensive. So I know back then she was just making a sale, which you, you work in sales, you got to do that. But I was just looking for a nice exfoliant or a nice toner. And she pushed me to this one. And I already had a bag full of stuff I was going to buy that day. And I felt so embarrassed, like that she was talking so down to me and that maybe I didn't know anything and maybe these were gonna be great for me. And so I bought them and they were expensive and I used them, but honestly, I didn't need these. These are no better than like the Stridex pads you'll get from CVS or Walgreens. And I've learned I, I really can't be intimidated by a bad experience at a store like that because I've had several at this point and I don't know, when I'm in a store alone and I get treated that badly, I kind of just like sit down and like accept it. Like, 
oh, I, I must have done something or maybe I'm not that good and I deserve to be treated that way. I, I didn't. So I ended up buying these and since I had bought them, I didn't want to return them. So I ended up using the entire container. It took me months to use it. Honestly, I don't think I needed these. I think they were a bit too harsh for me and my skin. I have combination skin. I have dry skin all around the perimeter and I really only get oily on my nose and my upper lip. I think these were definitely too expensive for what they were and I will not be repurchasing them and I don't think I need a harsh exfoliant in my skincare routine at this point. The next product I have an empty of is from The Measurable Difference. This is my favorite vitamin C serum that I get from TJ Maxx. This is actually the last bottle I was able to find. I've gone back to TJ Maxx a couple of times and I have not been able to find this or this brand again. I can purchase it, I think, from the Hush app. I'm looking into it there. The only difference is that TJ Maxx, this is $6.99. I still have the tag on it. And on the Hush app, it's $12.99, which is, mm, yeah, that's a bit much. So I've been looking into other alternatives for, the, for this. I'm currently using a hyaluronic acid from the same brand in my morning routine in lieu of this, uh, in lieu of this uh, serum. But I'm currently in the market for like a different affordable vitamin C or something to use as a moisturizing and nourishing serum in my morning routine. But I loved this one and I'm sad that I really can't seem to find it where it's affordable and I don't think it's, I, don't, oh, I mean, I don't want to spend $13 on a serum. Like, I, am I being cheap? Maybe. But this is so good, and if I can get it at $6, I don't want to spend $13 on it just because that's the only place it's available. I'll keep looking. The next skincare empty I have is from Sunday Riley, and it's the last product I've ever bought from Sunday Riley. This is a mini of the Luna Sleeping Oil, and I used to, like, bow down and worship this oil until I found a product from the drugstore that could dupe this for my skin. This helped with my fine lines. This helped keep my breakouts at bay. And I thought, like, you know what? It's expensive, but it's worth it because it's the only thing my skin reacts well to. Well, you know what? That's not true. This is the last product I've ever bought from them. The dupe is right here. And this is from CeraVe. It's even better packaging because they package their product in like a tube that I could cut open and really get everything out of. This is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Cream Serum. This is my first empty from them. The, the bottle is actually like this big, but what I do is I pump until I can't pump anymore because this is a genius product design. It's a tube with a pump, so you can pump everything out, squeeze it all out, and then even when it's like you don't think you can squeeze any more out, cut it open and you have a good one to two weeks of use in here. This is, I think, depending on when you can buy it and if you have coupons, it's between $16 and $20 at CVS. And if you have CVS coupons, if you have CVS bucks, you know, it's so much more affordable because this product, this is a mini. This was like $50 to $60 for a mini. Jesus Christ. $20 max. And this lasted me as long as this one lasted me. The next product I literally, I can't like live without. I need this. I've already bought two backups. I need to buy a couple more backups. This is from The Ordinary and this is the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. I use this every night. I don't use this in my morning skincare routine. I use this in my nighttime skincare routine and it's exponentially helped with my scarring and my redness. I tend to get such bad redness right here. And I have scarring from previous acne, specifically like around my temples and on my upper lip and on my jaw, like my chin kind of area. This is the only product I've seen make an actual difference. And it's only like $8. It's, it's incredible. I got this recommendation from the Taylor and it's really not steered me wrong at all. All. The only issue is that most times it's like totally sold out. So I would recommend buying in bulk if you can. <laughs> I have 
another one on backup. I have one full one that I'm using right now. Uh, the next time I see it in stock or the next time I go online to purchase it, I'm going to buy like five or six of them because I need this in my routine. And the way I use it in my routine, I mix it in with my um, moisturizer. If I didn't see like as good of a benefit when I used it by itself before my moisturizer, but if I mix it in with my moisturizer, I see a huge, huge difference. The last skincare empty I have is from CeraVe, and this is my favorite cleanser ever. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is the best thing I've seen for my skin. I've used more expensive, more harsh cleansers, and they've just stripped my skin. This cleans my skin, leaves me feeling actually clean, and is affordable. I, I cannot recommend this enough. I buy it in like these kind of like value sized bottles because I use it every day morning and night it's the only cleanser I will let touch my face moving on to kind of a more random empty this is a nail polish this is the top coat from Sage Veet I think that's how you pronounce it I've gotten to a point there's still product in here but I cannot get it out to use it in a usable way and it gets all clumpy and gooey and it, it doesn't work anymore not to say this isn't a good product this still gave me a few months of great use out of it just once it hits like just below halfway empty I find that I can't really use them anymore so I actually went on to Amazon and I found a three pack of this for ten dollars which is an incredible deal so I have that three pack and I'm using that one uh, but I found that once it gets a little bit white and milky kind of like this one is and once it's at that point in the bottle it's time to call it an empty and bye bye the next empty I have is a perfume empty. This is from Avon. I love the like haiku, like kind of Japanese scented perfumes that they have. I have a blue bottle that I'm currently working on right now. The pink bottle is one of my favorites. They have a green bottle, not as great. I like the blue and the pink ones the best. I go through this fairly, not quickly, it takes me a couple of weeks to go through it, but this is my like everyday perfume and I love it. It lasts all day, it smells great, and it's affordable. They're like between $16 and $20 a bottle for a perfume that'll last you a couple months. The next body care kind of product I have is a lotion empty, and this is from Bath and Body Works, and I use the whole thing. So what I do is I get these like big perfume bottles. I don't think I have a full-size one right now, but they're about uh, that big. And what I do is I use them until I can't squeeze any more product out and then I cut it open and I have almost a month of product left in the bottle when it's open. So I do that and I use every single little bit that I can get out of it, which is great because these are normally between $13 and $16, which is a bit pricey for a uh, lotion. But if I can use it daily and get everything out of it, I think it's worth it. This was, I believe, their Sweet Pea, a scent because I can no longer see it because that. My favorites are their aromatherapy line. I love the eucalyptus, the eucalyptus mint. I love that scent. I also love the Japanese cherry blossom one, but I just love these perfumes. I keep one, not perfumes, I love these lotions. I keep one full size at my job in my desk and I keep one here on my vanity just so I can use it constantly. I'm actually currently using this lotion right now which is like an olive oil dream body lotion. I got this for free from the salon where I normally get my nails done so I'm working my way through that but then I'm gonna go back out and purchase these. I found these on sale a couple of months ago or last year where you could get them for three dollars each which is a steal. I think they only do that sale once a year, but if you can find that sale, do it. You need it. Moving on to makeup empties, I have a spray from Scandinavia. This is the makeup finishing spray, the bridal version. I didn't see any difference between this bridal version versus their regular version, but this is my favorite long-lasting setting spray. It's basically the same thing as the Urban Decay setting spray, but you're buying it straight from the manufacturer as opposed to from Urban Decay. Sign up for the email list wait for a sale. You can get this on sale for less than 20 bucks and get a couple of free samples with it. I have quite a few setting sprays to work through, so I'm not going to be purchasing this, like repurchasing this immediately, but it's a great product. Another finishing spray that I actually 
really like and it shocked me this is from wet and wild and this is the wet and wild photo focus natural finish setting spray this didn't last me as long because of course it's like a smaller bottle but i really do like this product the sprayer was really nice the product worked i felt like my makeup did last throughout the day as opposed to whenever I, if i wore it without the setting spray and I would 100% rebuy this again because it was only a couple of dollars as opposed to just under 20, you know, for this one. The last makeup empty I have is a concealer from Chantecai. Let me see if I can find the name. This is the Le Camouflage Stylo Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen. This was an amazing dewy light under eye concealer. It was best for no makeup makeup days where I wouldn't be wearing foundation or anything else. I would just kind of put this like around my nose, around under my eyes, and a little bit on my forehead and it would just brighten everything up and look very nice and dewy and beautiful. I loved it. Uh, I would never buy this again because <laughs> it was so expensive. I actually bought this when I purchased their foundation for the first time. So almost a year ago I think at this point. It took me a while to use it. It's like a clicky pen kind of thing uh, but it's totally empty now i i loved it but i know that there are cheaper versions of this that can do the same thing so thank you for your service we are now going away last but not least i have three hair care empties the first one is a deep conditioning treatment this is from garnier and it sh like really really shocked and surprised me this was their smoothing treatment one minute hair mask in the sh or in the scent avocado extract oh it smells so good i didn't use this for the one minute i used this the same way i would use any other deep conditioning treatment put it in soaking wet hair put it in my hot head heat cap for 20 minutes and took it out this was a great hair mask the only issue is that this mini this is like the mini size i think that i got and i only got two uses out of this which is eh, not that much I really want to get the full size of this, but I'm working through a couple of other deep conditioning treatments I have in my little set back here, and I can't justify buying this when I know I have at least 10 to 15 deep conditioning uses in my treatments back here. So I'm not going to buy this anytime soon, but I was impressed by the results that I got. My curls looked voluptuous and moisturized, and I hadn't seen anything that good since my last diva curl treatment and diva curl is expensive so i'm definitely gonna try this out again sometime in the future once i actually work through all of like my backups my next empty also from diva curl <laughs> is their build up buster conditioner the only issue i have of this is that this is a uh not conditioner it's a shampoo i'm tired it's early the only issue i have of this is that it's eight fluid ounces and it's over it's like $30, which is a lot for a shampoo that I'm going to go through fairly quickly because I have so much scalp and hair. I, I loved this. I didn't really use this like nozzle so much to put it on as, to, as opposed to just putting it in my hands and like scrubbing my scalp, but this got rid of all of my buildup. My scalp felt so nice. I use this about once a week. I only wash my hair once or twice a week as it is. I'm on a journey to find a cheaper alternative to this product because I can't spend that much on shampoo and conditioner. It's, it's a lot. Last but not least, I have a curl defining gel from diva curl this is the ultra defining gel for stronghold no crunch styler this was a great gel one of the first ones i tried but i know that there are better more affordable gels out there so this one's an empty i think i have one more of these i also have a bigger diva curl gel i'm working through but i'm never going to spend this much on gel again i know that there are better affordable options out there and i just need to find them I think I found one from, I forgot the name of the brand, but I'll throw a picture up if I can find it. Uh, this gel has worked just as great for me and because I found that, I don't need to get this one again. So I'm just trying to work through basically all the Diva Curl products that I bought back when like I first went curly girl. <laughs> so those are all of my empties for this time around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what the last product that you used up was and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.